everything is blue His pills, his hands, his jeans And now I'm covered in Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Welcome to The Sims 3 Island Paradise Welcome to Isla Paradiso I thought that today we would do a little bit of a dive in To The Sims 3 Island Paradise And just explore this beautiful world And some of the amazing gameplay That came with this amazing pack So of course with The Sims 4 Island Living Coming out this week I thought it would be nice to kind of do a little bit of diving Into the past Into the days of Sims 3 Open world World, underwater diving, all that fun stuff. So today we're going to be exploring some of the gameplay. I'm not going to show off everything there is to see in this pack. This game has been out for many, many years, but of course it is more difficult to play because one, this world is, you know, pretty big and has a lot going on in it. It's very laggy. It has its glitches. I'll admit this you know, this expansion would be so much better if the world was not so difficult and demanding on a computer. So we're just going to go through, have a bit of fun. I'm going to make myself a beautiful little sim for us to explore gameplay, underwater stuff, maybe a little bit of mermaid action as well. If you guys are excited to see some Sims 3 Island Paradise, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Turn on that little bell icon as well to be notified whenever it is I upload new content. So with Without further ado, I'm going to go in and make myself a cute little sim real quick and we're going to jump into the world of Isla Paradiso. So we are now in game and if you guys have never seen the world of Isla Paradiso, this is kind of a, what it looks like. It is a beautiful full world of ocean views and beautiful mountains. Um, of course, there are those hidden little islands back there with the little clouds, as you guys can see, which I honestly thought was such an awesome ad, you know? You know, you have to kind of work to explore everything. You have to work to unlock everything. And I just thought that this world was just so well done. Let's go ahead and check out the overview. So this is the overview of what uh, Isla Paradiso looks like. Of course, you have like your inner mainland area. And then, like I mentioned, you do have several of these little islands. I wonder what's down there. Um, you have to, of course, unlock those islands as you play through. There are several different islands, as you can see. There are different sizes. There's so much to explore in this beautiful world. So there are a few different islands, like mainlands, I guess you could say, as far as like everything you can explore, you can touch pretty much every part of this map. Again, Sims 3, of course, is open world. Keep that in mind. Um, there are several different uh, diving locations that you unlock as you progress through the skill. And you're able to, you know, explore these different areas and explore underwater with your freaking sim. So yeah, that is, oh, I can't wait to go. I have not played in Island or Isla Paradiso, oh gosh, um, in a really long time. So excuse me if I forget things or if I say a little bit of incorrect information. Again, I have not played this in a really long time, so just forgive me. But one of the biggest things that you may notice is that we have houseboats. I was a little sad that we didn't have houseboats in The Sims 4, but we need to really think about it. It wouldn't make sense for us to have houseboats because it's not open world. So that's why I'm not too fussed about it. So I went in quickly and just made ourselves a little sim here. And we're just going to explore a little bit of Isla Paradiso with her. So this is our little houseboat. In case you were curious as to what a houseboat is, what you do is we all of them have like a ladder or some way to get up to the steering control this is your control for the actual houseboat itself and you're able to change ports you're able to abandon port you're able to just move the houseboat entirely so we're going to go ahead and we are going to change port so this is what the kind of steering console looks like and you're able to literally choose where you want to go so these are all of the port icons and you're able to explore all of them but you know since we uh are you know not wanting to take too much time i might just have her go here um it does take a while for the houseboat to move they don't really move that fast honestly so see as you can see here she's literally steering her house that is like the coolest thing to me i personally probably would never live in a houseboat because 
I feel like I'd get really nauseous from all of the movement, like the constant movement, like going on cruises and things. That's totally different. But yeah, like this is just so serene. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Like the movement of the waves. Oh, it looks like we have some. Oh, the llama. Oh, no. <laughs> llama. We're not we're not doing that today. We are not doing that today. Go away. I don't care. Go away. Please leave. Oh, and apparently a child made it onto my boat. Is oh, and awkward. <laughs> I literally just opened up this save, so yeah, that would be why everything's kind of like starting to spawn in. I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're really just uh, you know, steering our boat here. No big deal. I think we're almost to the port actually, which it's going a lot faster than I was expecting it to. So once we get around the bend over here, we'll kind of be there. And there are these cute little um, paddle boats, which I really love. I'm really sad we didn't get any paddle boats, but we did get jet skis, which are a thing in The Sims 3 as well. We have a lot more boating options in The Sims 3 in general, in my opinion. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of scuba diving, but of course we have to learn um, how to snorkel first, which I'm going to be using a little bit of cheats in this video because I don't want it to take eight years for us to be able to explore everything. Um, so I'm just going to have her continue to go here. It's just nice for us to be able to get a view of what the world as a whole looks like. There are several different houseboat variations that come pre-built into this world from our itty bitty little starter one to, you know, larger variations. And you are able to move all of them. Just keep that in mind. So we're able to kind of, you know, move port and be around different neighbors, things like that. So we are going to just kind of speed past these. She's going to go ahead and back her little boat up, which don't even ask me how that's physically possible. I have no idea how this is physically even possible, but it, it, it's fine. It's fine. So what we are going to do is we are going to come out here and we are going to go do some snorkeling because I want her to start to get to the skill up. And she is feeling a little bit seasick as to be expected. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be that surprised if she weren't or she was seasick. So we're going to have her come on down here. To a little bit of snorkeling so i have to admit the water textures and things not my favorite they are a little you know nauseating when you look at it but in real life when you're looking down into water it does have that same texture but i don't know in the game it just gives me a little bit of a headache so in the sims 4 they definitely did that very well so she is just going to come and swim past her little houseboat here and do some snorkeling so she's able to kind of hang out in the water, do as she pleases. I'm not sure. She probably needs more space to do the snorkeling. There we go. Um, so she is going to do some snorkeling. She got her little flippers and her little thing there. There you go. So that's kind of what that looks like. And I also love in the background, I'm not sure how loud the audio will be for you guys to hear it or not, but there's pretty much like constant uh, sounds of seagulls around, which just gives me more of that island vibe in general. So as you can see, she's just kind of going around, doing her thing, all the snorkeling. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cheat up her diving skill a bit so that we are able to just, you know, do a little bit more exploration. So give me two seconds and I will be okay, right Okay, so I've gone ahead and set Maya's scuba diving skill to level 10 just so that we are able to, you know, explore more areas. So there are several different areas that we can go and explore. For instance, Rocky Reef is over here. Um, one of my favorites is, let me see if I can find it. Where are you? Is it this one? Pearl's Deep. I really like Pearl's Deep. So I'm going to do a little bit of cheaty cheaty and we are going to go ahead and go, you know, let's go in the retro diving suit. I think that would be a whole lot of fun. So she's going to take a little taxi speedboat, which I love the taxi speedboats. I think that was such an awesome addition. It's so funny to me that whenever you want to go across water, you uh, get a taxi speedboat. So why not, right? So she's just going to go ahead and travel, get more of a view of the world itself. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, unfortunately, in The Sims 3, you don't see too many random Sims out and about, but this is actually a lot of Sims in The Sims 3 to be out. So, yeah, I'm kind of surprised there's this many people here. 
Um, but we are almost to, I don't know why they like drove through there. That didn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's, it's fine. It's probably fine. So we are here at the diving location. All of the diving spots have these little buoy things here. So she is going to flip into her like diving outfit, as you can see here. And underwater we go. Oh, look, she went underwater. I wonder where she went. Oh, hey, look at this. We can go underwater. So honestly, this is my favorite feature of The Sims 3. The entire game, this is my favorite feature. Being able to look underwater blows my mind. Like when this first came out, I thought this was the coolest thing I have ever seen in a video game. Especially when it comes to The Sims, you know, like you wouldn't expect this to be in a Sims game. But like you can literally see her diving under the water, scuba diving around, swimming. Um, occasionally you'll see uh, sharks. Um, and then there are like different underwater caves and treasure chests and things like that that you're able to explore. Um, I don't see one just yet. They may not have spawned in since it's such a new save. Um, but you're kind of able to interact with several different things that are out and about under here. And we caught an angelfish, which is pretty cool. So she's literally just under the water, exploring, doing whatever she wants. I love that you can see the rays of sunlight kind of beaming through the water. I thought that was such an awesome effect to add in. Um, looks like we have a different, a bunch of different things that we can view. We have, ooh, here it is. So this is an example of the underwater cave. Um, it's kind of like a rabbit hole where your sim will go in and explore. Um, so as you can see, there's like an octopus kraken-ish type creature that is protruding through the, the cave. Um, it just like sucked itself back in. Um, but there is the possibility of you being, um, you know, attacked by said crack. And you can also be attacked by sharks as well. Um, I have not seen a shark just yet, but at some point I'm sure we'll be able to interact with one. And of course there are mermaids in this game. I'm not sure if we'll see a mermaid, just, you know, random occurrence type thing. Um, and there actually is King Triton in this game as well, which I've definitely had my Sims woohoo with Triton several times to, you know, get their mermaid-ish thing going on. Um, you do become a mermaid in the similar way as you do in The Sims 4 where there is a reward trait to get the mermatic kelp and you're able to eat the kelp and turn into a mermaid. So with these um, underwater caves and things, you're kind of able to go in and the caves kind of have like a, <gasps> ooh, a shark. There you go, there's a shark. And you are able to watch them and you can fight them too. So yeah, um, the, with the underwater caves, they are interlinking. So just because we're in a cave on this side, we may be teleported to a whole different dive spot. It just depends on how she does in the cave. Um, so that's also really cool. She's also breathing pretty comfortably. You do have a set amount of time that you're able to be deep like scuba diving. Eventually they'll need to go up for air, which you know, is to be expected. But we do have a little shark that is hanging around here, which I always thought was so funny. Like I used to be so scared whenever a shark would show up because I was always afraid my sim would be eaten, which I have had several shark fights happen before, which, you know, can be kind of entertaining and crazy all at the same time. Um, but I'm just gonna fast forward this because she is hanging out inside of that underwater cave. Not sure if she'll pop up on this side. Um, oh, hey, she found a pocket of air, which means we can stay underwater even longer, which is pretty awesome. Ooh, so that's another type of shark, as you guys can see. It looks kind of like a tiger shark, maybe. I'm not sure um, how many different variations of sharks there are, but you can also see little fish that kind of spawn in and out as well. Um, and the shark kind of does hover wherever your sim is, so just kind of keep that in mind. So here we go. You have found the new exit to the cave system. Do you want to see where it leads? Yes, I do. And look at that. We discovered a new island. So we discovered Diver's Den, and we also got an emerald. So this is one of the islands that was kind of hidden away by the clouds, and you're actually able to live on these islands. These are private islands that you can live on. As you can see, there's a mailbox and stuff. You can build on this lot. You can build your house here too, which is pretty fun. So she is gonna come back out out of the water at some point. She'll be up shortly. There she is. 
Um, and she, uh, yeah, she found a new island to live on and explore, which is always pretty cool. So that's kind of what the underwater diving uh, looks like. So there is a career you can like go and do diving work and then like submit things to the science lab to make a quick, easy buck. But yeah, we have unlocked this island over here. Um, and like I said, there are different treasure chests and things that you can find and there are like map pieces. And if you collect all the map pieces, then you also unlock um, other islands as well. So something else that came with this pack is re island resorts. So there are several different island resorts that come pre-built into the world. As you can see, there's several different ones and they're all over. And you are able to build your own resort and manage your own resort. So if we had the money, <laughs> which, you know, we know, I could always cheat it in if I need you. We're able to buy this property and we're able to customize the resort any way we want. And we're able to make quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of money that way as well. So um, there are, you know, a bunch of different resorts. This one over here is kind of like the starter resort. So it's really crappy. It's really dirty. It's literally free. It is a free lot. Um, you're able to buy this resort and change it up, build it up, make a bunch of money, become popular, get star ratings, all that stuff, um, and kind of build this crappy land up into an awesome resort. So what we are going to do is we are going to come visit to this resort here, the Sparkling Sands, and just take a look at what this looks like. And I am hoping to uh, show you guys mermaids in this video. I'm just not sure. I may have to turn her into a mermaid. I'm not sure if we'll be able to actually find a mermaid. But in The Sims 3, it's actually really easy to see you know, the townies that are mermaids because their legs will have colored scales. Oh, they're a shark. Their legs will have colored scales. So you're clearly able to differentiate a human sim from a mermaid, which is also super helpful because in The Sims 4, I literally have no idea who's a mermaid and who's not. Um, and they always deny being mermaids, too, so it's always really hard for me to tell, but let's come over here. Oh, that lady has a nice car. So this is what one of the resorts kind of look like. You're able to check in um, at the front desk and you have access to all of the amazing amenities. Oh, it looks like we have a ghost over here. It looks like someone who drowned, I think. Yeah, that's someone that drowned. That's really freaking sad. Um, but there is a pool. You have like a little beach bar, which is always really fun to play with. We have a bunch of like buffet tables. And then upstairs you have bathrooms and rooms and all that fun stuff. Oh, there's even like a wedding arch over here. I mean, that would probably be a really nice place to get married, honestly. So this is kind of what the resorts look like. Of course, all of the different resorts have different amenities and things like that. If you go into like CC creation, you can go into like casinos and have resorts have casinos and things, which is also really fun to yeah, do. So let's go ahead and see if we are able to check out some other things in this beautiful, beautiful world. Um, so like I said, there are several different, you know, spots that you can go. We're going to go ahead and head over to Mermaid's Grotto because I want to see if we are going to be able to find a mermaid. Um, like I said, you're able to get to the Mermatic Kelp. I think it's 25,000, 30,000. Here it is. 25,000. So it gives you a bite-sized bit of Mermatic Kelp strong enough to bring out the fish in any sim. So if we're able to find a mermaid, that would be awesome. If not, I will just like make her into one. It is getting kind of late, so I may like, I'm gonna cheat all of her needs, obviously, because it really doesn't matter for the sake of this video, but we're gonna go and travel. And with the mermaids, I'll admit, the routing for mermaids is not fun at all. Like for instance, if, I, if she was a mermaid and I told her to go to that lot, she would swim there and take 80,000 years instead of taking a taxi. So I do admit the routing is real crappy when it comes to mermaids in this game, but in general, they are just so beautiful. I love them so, so much. We just passed our house, which is kind of funny. So let's head over to this dive spot. I'm really hoping that we're able to see a mermaid, but I won't be too upset if we don't. And I would also like to find a treasure chest. Oh, let me actually go ahead and cheat her needs. There you go. Just gonna pull those up a smidgen. You'll be all right. Okay, underwater we go. Oh, hey, look at that. Immediately we are greeted by a shark. Well, I mean, it could be worse. 
Uh, let's see if there are any treasure chests or anything. Um, unfortunately, like, they kind of, you know... Oh, here's one! Oh, look at that! I was literally about to say they kind of dot, like, um... You can't, it's hard, to, it's hard to see them because of the textures and things, but wow, immediately I found one. Uh, there's also another cave, too, so I guess we can go ahead and explore the Kraken legs and all that good stuff. Um, there are other, I think there are other traits in here I have to remember. Because if you're a mermaid, I think you're able to call upon the Kraken. I can't fully remember how that works, but Hotel Mogul is another one where you can make it easier for your resorts and things to do well. Mm -mm -mm. I'll have to look into all the additional things that came with it. But yeah, we found a uh, chest down here, which is pretty handy. So we'll just come and open this up, see what we can find. Looks like we found some treasure, which is always super fun. I'm just going to pause quickly to take a screenshot there. There we go. But you're able to find a bunch of different things. Like, for instance, we just got 2,000 freaking simoleons and five diamonds. Kind of crazy when you think about the amount of money that are in hidden treasure chests. But I guess we're going to go in and bother this Kraken and see that hopefully we don't uh, get murdered. Because uh, that would be quite unfortunate. <laughs> so she's going to go in there and explore. I'm going to keep an eye out to see if I see any mermaids that pop up. I can't remember who the mermaid townies were, unfortunately because it's been so long since I've played this. Um, we found a pocket of air, which means we can stay under the water longer. It'd be nice if we could find King Triton, but I don't know how much of a possibility that'll be. I may just have to turn her into a mermaid, honestly, to make it easier on everybody. So I'm just gonna fast forward until she comes back out of the cave here, or if uh, something crazy seems to happen with my sim and she tries to die. Oh, hey, look at another shark. This already is starting to look kind of okay. Terrifying. So it looks like she popped up out of the cave, and we found a knotless shell, which is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cheat in some aspiration points for her. Wow, these sharks really are circling. We're going to cheat in some aspiration points for her so that I'm able to make her into an adorable little mermaid. Okay, so I went ahead and added in the lifetime happiness points for us to get the mermatic kelp. So we are going to go ahead and purchase that. And really all you need to do is eat it. So we need to go up to the surface in order to do that. So let's return to the surface here. The sharks are still circling us pretty hardcore which is, you know, kind of scary. Also, while you're down here diving, you are actually able to see other sims that are down here diving as well. I mean, it's, you know, midnight. Don't really expect that many sims to be down here. Um, but a ri of every so often, you will see sims, you know, hanging out below the water. So that's also a really cool feature. So we need to go ahead and eat the kelp. She's probably just going to go to land really quickly and do that. Just because, you know, can't really do that while in water. But at least there was land pretty close by. So she is going to go ahead and eat that. Sweet. Look at, look at her. She's turning into a mermaid. I love, like, the animation. It, it just looks so fun. And as you can see, all of her needs actually change. And hygiene turned into hydration. Same thing as it is in The Sims 4. And you can see that she has these scales, which are kind of what I mentioned. Though. So that's the easiest way to know if a sim indeed is a mermaid. So let's see where we can go. Let's just go do an extreme swim over here. So that you're able to see her tail. So she just kind of walks into the water. And then immediately she gains her tail so i think that is just so fun it's just so cute and she has the little seashell bra as well and her fun goes up her hydration goes up all that fun stuff so when you are a mermaid you have you don't have as many options as you do in the sims board. like if you click on your sim you have actual powers not necessarily like that in this game so she's able to just kind of swim around and have a bunch of fun. 
um, you are able to like call upon King Triton and become friends with him and all that stuff but I just wanted you guys to kind of see the basics of what mermaids look like as a whole so with this uh, expansion there are two new traits that we got love to swim and sailor which are the two that I gave to her um, love to swim you know kind of self-explanatory and then sailor you love being on boats and cruising around the ocean they have better luck fishing from the boat and their sim stomach doesn't have a problem with the rocking boat as often so they don't get seasick as frequently there were also uh i think three aspirations oh sorry four new aspirations that you get so deep sea diver grand explorer resort empire and seaside seaside savior there are a few different um like reward lifetime rewards that you can get um friend of the kraken was another one that i wanted to show you guys so let me go ahead and quickly cheat in more points for her i totally forgot that that was one because friend of the kraken is really fun because you're able to actually call upon the kraken itself so we're gonna add in we'll add in forty thousand just so i make sure we have enough and then let's go in here and let me see if I can find it. I forgot how much, how many points it is. Is it, it 30,000 as well? I can't remember. Here we go, friend of the Kraken. The, force, the fearsome Kraken bows to your will. Boats that you were on will never be targeted by the Kraken. You can also order the Kraken to wreak havoc on any boat that you wish. Yes, we are gonna become a friend of the Kraken. That just sounds terrifyingly awesome. Um, so I can't fully remember how you go about calling upon the Kraken, honestly, but if anything, we'll figure it out. So are there any houseboats nearby that we could potentially cause some terror on? This one? I don't even remember how to, like, do that, honestly. Eh, I'll figure it out. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the Kraken to spawn. Um, it only works on, like, little boats like this, but for some reason, it doesn't want to spawn. Um, it only works on little boats and, like, speedboats and things. It does not work on houseboats when you have the trait. Um, if not, you can just kind of, you know, sit around on your boat and wait for the Kraken to go under your boat. I think it's only a 1% chance that the Kraken will actually attack your boat um, when you don't have the trait, which is kind of crazy. And the Kraken does not kill you. It just kind of destroys your boats and things. Um, the only way you can die from this pack anyway is if you are killed by a shark attack or if you uh, are scuba diving and you run out of air. So that's really like the only main ways you can die in this pack. Obviously, you can like spontaneously combust from the heat and all that stuff. Um, and if you are curious as to turn back into a human, all you have to do is wait for your hydration to go down. Or if you're out of water for a few days, um, you'll lose your mermaid abilities. So if that if you were wondering how you kind of turn back into a normal human sim. Um, of course, there is the lifeguard career that came with this pack as well that you can explore. It is an active career where you go and kind of, you know, from, save sims from dying, which is always the most fun to do. But I just thought that we would spend a little bit of time exploring the Sims 3 Island Paradise and Isla Paradiso as a whole, just enjoying the beauty of this amazing pack again this is one of my favorite packs of the sims 3 it's just a little more difficult to play it because it is so incredibly laggy and it's it's such a beautiful world i wish it wasn't so laggy of course there are a bunch of cc worlds that people have made which kind of take island paradise vibes where you're able to go underwater exploring and all that fun stuff um, to explore but yeah I hope I just wanted to spend a little bit of time playing this pack since the Sims 4 Island Living did just come out um, and I had you know I just really wanted to explore this pack again but I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random video of the Sims 3 Island Paradise let me know your guys' thoughts down below if you guys yourselves have played Island Paradise before or if this is your first time seeing a footage of Island Paradise it's definitely you know if you're into the Sims 3 and you have a pretty decent computer, I would highly recommend getting this expansion because it really is a whole lot of fun despite all of the glitches and lag that you have to, you know, endure. But if you did the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this little random video. Leave all your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. Everything is